Well, if you are one of those ten people that follow us right now... Nine. I can dream, can't I? I think it was ten. It was ten. Anyway, go on. <laughs> so in our last video, we made a joke about tanks giving. Well, that got me thinking that we definitely need to celebrate tanks giving. And so I painstakingly used up three whole hours of my day for you people to give you the top ten tanks of gaming. But not RPG tanks. Well, there might be rocket propelled grenades involved, but anyway. So, starting off at number 10, what got it all started? Combat. The, no, not, oh. not combat. Oh, okay. No, Battlezone. Ooh, good choice. Which is on just about any console there is, any system at some point or another. Which, like I said, it pretty much got it all started off. You're sitting in a tank... A polygonal transparent tank, to be exact. Wireframe, which was very impressive. Yeah, I mean, time. yeah, I mean that that that's how it got started. I mean, but yeah, you go around a battlefield wireframe, taking out other tanks, and oddly enough, they do tend to like switch out of different styles and the like. So it's not like it's the same model tank against the same model tank. There were triangle tanks, there were square tanks, there were double barrel. All I mean, right. I mean, it got it got pretty intense. <laughs> but moving on to number nine. And what is number nine? We're looking at tank, tank, tank from the Wii U. Mm. It's all right. Well, I, I mean, it, it comes out to be a four-player game where players can either team up to fight giant monsters. It it was actually it was initially released as a full retail game. And it didn't do well because it came off as a cheap bargain bin type of game, so they really re-released it as a DLC-heavy freemium game on the Wii U eShop. Which, I mean, if that's the case, I don't have a problem with that. It was, it was fun enough. I don't know if it deserves being on this list, but hey, I didn't write this list. Hey, you know, get to shoot dragons with a tank. Doesn't like it go. You shoot... Dragons with a tank. Uh, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Number eight. Yeah, and this t this actually takes me back to one of our first videos back in the day. Oh, the tanks from Battalion Wars. <laughs> I oh uh. yeah, I, I gotta go back into that mission some point. We need, we're gonna beat that tutorial mission someday. We we actually tried again. We didn't. We didn't. <laughs> so many lives lost. We didn't upload it. It just. Oh, oh dear God. Yeah. yeah. You use the green army tank to battle other SD characters in probably the cutest combat you're gonna see on a GameCube or a Wii. But still, well worth it in my opinion. Oh yeah. Love that series. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, aside from the cartoonish approach to a lot of stuff, they really do show that show that war is hell. Because when those guys are running from gunfire, they're not being cute. That's I'm about to die. Jesus help me! And then they die. But if you want to talk historic oh. tank combat, we got to look at number seven. Oh, what is number seven? Is it combat? No, it's not combat. I am so glad we're not doing a drinking game, otherwise you'd have to take a sip for every time he says combat. COMBAT! Hey, why don't you engage in some combat in the game Combat, where you, uh... Combat. Star Fox 64. This one actually has a name, too. Yeah. The Landmaster. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'll get yeah. that. And it's for all the land-based combat that you do, because they didn't have anything where Star, uh, where Fox McCloud actually hopped out and shot stuff. That wasn't until much later in the GameCube games. Uh, I'll speak of those. But, I will say, that master! And then, you know, you summon it, and then you kill everyone on the screen. Oh, yeah. 
but that, that's the, the most but the fact that, special in Smash Brothers. But the fact that the tank can actually roll and strafe at the same time is awesome. It can it can do a barrel barrel roll. Yeah, it barrel rolls with its with its gun barrel. Like the whole thing goes. Yeah. It's it's great. It's it's actually really freaking cool. But now we're moving on to number six. Okay. That would actually be Iron Force. The what now? Yeah, Iron Force. It's a mobile game that's moderately entertaining. Is it? Yeah. I say moderately because A, it's a mobile game, uh, yeah. and B, it's a dime a dozen tank game. But still, it's one of the better ones out there, I mean, for freemium online. That's not a very... Uh, uh... Did, did I mention it's by EA? Uh, still, the tank animations are pretty good, and the paint jobs are different enough, so it's not like green tank versus green tank. So there's green that. Green versus orange tank. Go on. But let's move on to number five, otherwise I'm going to start on an EA rant. Yeah, I don't want that again. <laughs> That's for another video. <laughs> All right. Anyway, also, I'd five. probably be among the many. Number five. Number five is actually one of the more enjoyable tanks anyone will ever have in their life. If you've ever played a video game with awesome shmup style chaos, this should be in your top 20. But it's on my top 10 and it's number 5. <laughs> you can count! I'm proud of you! Go on. The Metal Slug from the Metal Slug series. Garnering all the way back from the Neo Geo all the way to current consoles through collections and DLC and yeah. arcade action. The only one I have is on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. But in fact, it was the third game that came out on the Xbox and that almost sold me. No, it wasn't Halo. Metal Slug Ooh, is what almost sold. A, there was a collection too. I think it was on the GameCube and everything. Mm -hmm. I, have, I cannot find a copy oh, of that. Also came out on the Wii and oh. PS2. Oh. But... Well. The fact that you can hop in the tank, and unlike all these others where it's more cockpit-oriented, you get to see the chaos that you wrought on everyone else as they flee and get shot up into bits and pieces, start scattering the screen, and it's all red, and, and it's, it's, it's... It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. It, it's, it's just, it's, it's wonderful. It's so much fun. He, he likes gore. It was... It's so much What fun. number are we on? Four? Woo! Yes, we're at number four. He is so excited about tanks. Wow. Yeah, tanks a lot. But yes, World of Tanks. No, oh. no, that no, that's the game. World of Tanks. I know. I've seen the ads. Oh, Go yeah. On. PvP combat based on either one-on-one -on -one where players face off against each other where you can either capture an opponent's base or destroy everything that's technically theirs. And that's how you win. Yeah, it's a mobile game. No, it's not. Um, you can actually play it on your computer. It's a freemium computer slash mobile game. Probably. Probably. Whoa. But if there was ever a series Whoa. or at least one game that really got me to go back to the arcades as a kid, it'll be our number three spot. Cyber Sled. First time yeah, I ever I played this was at Tiffany Payne's birthday party. I haven't spoken to her in years. 1v1 cover based tank combat that might have been the prototype and inspiration for Twisted Metal. Yet these gritty characters, hell, one of them I remember, he has. The big green tank, pretty much. And his profile pic, he's sticking a knife to his own throat while he sticks his tongue out at you. It's great. All it right. so colorful. So colorful. So much Mostly chaos. Mostly green and red. Like Christmas. Go on. Well, no, no, no. Okay. no. Like, it, it, had, it had the full, the full palette of so, early two. 3D. Two. Number two would actually be Combat. Tokyo War. No, it's not combat. Whatever. What is it? Tokyo Wars. Never heard of it. Up to eight people can either team up or take each other out 
in the streets of Tokyo in different colored tanks. This one was a lot more immersive and than what people expected, especially if you played the deluxe version, which I did at a GameWorks in Grapevine, Texas. <sighs> that damn town. But, like I said, this is the deluxe edition, so it actually would, like, reverberate and, and vibrate and shake as you patrolled around, and even as you tried to shift and make your turret move, mm -hmm. it was great. And it even had kickback, and would expel yeah. a little bit of of air for every shell you fired out. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, no, no, that's like awesome. like they went full out with that. I mean that that's got to be the closest to a real tank experience you could get for only number two. Okay, so number one, number one has to be none other. Combat. No. What the fuck? Bad Gan. Hand, hand, no, hand, no. I am holding, I am holding this combat trump card close to me. No combat, combat didn't make the list in any way, shape, or form. This had to cover the full experience, visual, and raw excitement. Okay, combat fine. did not get that. You wouldn't play it right if you weren't having this exhilarating. Whatever, fine. What's number one? Steel Battalion. The original Ooh. Steel Battalion, not the X-Bone. That is on my wish list of games I would love to have and cannot even begin to afford. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Some bitch was expensive to begin with. It was like 160 on, still, on retail. Still about that. Oh, okay. Well, well okay. The, well, the controller is about that. Well, yeah, no. I mean, I mean, that was the whole point. You were buying the controller as much as the game, and the controller had what, like, a hundred and eight buttons? Yeah. Toggle switches. Yeah. Dials. Double uh, dual joysticks to actually simulate moving this mobile. T I mean, it was more a mech, but they said it was a standing tank or a walking tank. But it is the most complicated game I think has ever been put out. But yeah. it was it was legitimately complicated. All right, I'll totally give you this list. Yep, that's number one, Steel Battalion. God damn right. All right, well, tomorrow is Thanksgiving proper, <laughs> and to our nine followers out there, get behind the tank. Get behind the tank, indeed. Hopefully, there's a uh, stuffing and turkey behind there. All right, I'm gonna have a smoke. Okay, cool. All right, he's gone. He is outside smoking. So, number one, combat. It's gotta be combat. It's always combat, and it always will be combat. Combat was the original. It was a packing game with the Atari 2600. It is, as he put it earlier, there was a cover-based tank game. It is the original tank game. It is the best tank game. And if you don't agree with me, well, fuck you. Combat is the greatest tank game. What's oh. going on in here? Nothing. Number one, combat. God damn it! Look at all these pidgeys. Fuck all these pidgeys. I'm gonna fuck these pidgeys. Pidgey, pidgey, pidgey. Ah. <sighs>